we're going to be looking at finding maximum and minimum values. Many applications involve finding the max or min values of a quadratic function. These values will always occur at the vertex. We will need the function in standard form f of x equal to a times x minus h squared plus k to enable us to find the max or min. When the function's not in standard form, we need to find a way to get it there, and we're going to look at how to do completing the square. That's everybody's favorite thing from algebra, but let's check it out. Let's suppose we have x squared minus 6x plus 8. First thing you do is group the x's together. Then you take half of the minus 6 and square it. That gives you 9. Don't forget, if you add 9, you must also subtract 9. We have now completed the square. So our function is in standard form, which tells us that the vertex is at 3 minus 1. Look up there. a equaled 1. A 1 is greater than 0. So f of x has a minimum at x equal to 3. The minimum value is minus 1. All right, let's try another one. In this case, we're going to do something very hard algebraically. So just watch. You won't be required to have to do this, but I'm going to complete the square on the general quadratic function. Notice I took half of b over a and squared it. I added it and then subtracted it. I now have a times x plus b over 2a, the quantity squared, plus c minus b squared over 4a. It is now in standard form. So let's see what we can glean from it. The h coordinate then of the vertex of the parabola is minus b over 2a. We'll use this to find the k coordinate by substituting whatever we get minus b over 2a into the function itself. So we now have a general formula for finding the vertex without completing the square. Notice a equals 1, b equals minus 7, h equals minus a minus 7 over 2 times 1, or that's 7 halves. That's h. Now we have to substitute 7 halves into our original function being very careful class while doing the arithmetic. You can always use your calculator to help you with the arithmetic if you want to. I decided to try it by hand and see what I get and hopefully I don't have any arithmetic mistakes. So f of x has a minimum at the point 7 halves minus 1 fourth. a was 1 greater than 0, so we have a minimum. Right, let's go to our calculators and let's use our good old x squared minus 7x plus 12. We've worked at it a little bit and let's store it in y1 of x and let's take a look at its graph. So remember we go zoom and zoom standard and we wait while this graphs. And so what we have here is a minimum value, just what we wanted. Let's try another one. In this case, a is minus 3, b is 5, and c is equal to 10. We use minus b over 2a, getting that the h coordinate or x coordinate of the vertex is 5 6. Now, we very carefully try to substitute that into the original function. Again, be very careful of your arithmetic. Use your calculator if you need a little help on that arithmetic. Get it over a common denominator. That's everybody's favorite thing to do. I know that. And then try to add and not make any stupid errors. Oh, that happens to simplify. So our vertex in this case is 5, 6, 145 over 12. But notice up there, 
a was equal to minus 3, less than 0. So f of x, in this case, has a maximum. So we have a general formula here for the vertex of the graph of a, a quadratic function f. You need to memorize that formula. You don't want to have to complete the square all the time. So definition, minimum and maximum values of, a quad of quadratic functions. If a is greater than 0, then f has a minimum at x equals minus b over 2a. The minimum value is the function value at that point. If a is less than 0, then f has a maximum at x equal minus b over 2a, and the maximum value is f of minus b over 2a.